What cleanses alcohol from your system? Uh, the old-fashioned answer is time. Time for your body to metabolize the alcohol, break it down and expel it, uh, whether it's in the urine or in the breath. Um, there are quicker ways though. Uh, there's a lot of talk about detox shakes and this. Uh, I, I personally don't think they offer any benefit whatsoever. I think it's a sham. Uh, but the real benefit actually is, comes from consuming fluids. If a person drinks plenty of fluids, whether it's Gatorade or water, um, then it would have uh, some sort of electrolytes. So a watered down Gatorade would probably be the best thing or watered down apple juice, for example. Those sort of things help. So rehydration helps to uh, dilute the alcohol in the system, to dilute the uh, breakdown products of alcohol that are causing uh, the hangover. Um, it helps overall. So the problem is a lot of people can't drink enough fluid when they're hungover because they're already feeling sick. So the next way to go is intravenous hydration. So this is typically at a clinic or a hospital. Um, most Some clinics are specialized in intravenous rehydration, uh, but it's quite simple. Uh, they uh, establish an intravenous access uh, through the skin, whether it's in the hand or the wrist, and uh, give the person a couple liters of normal saline uh, or dextrose-containing solutions. And so this is a quick way of actually beating the hangover and cleansing your body. So to summarize, wh what, cleans is, what cleanses alcohol is, uh, well, with time our own bodies break it down, but to clean things out quicker is to rehydrate is to rehydrate and the rehydration is difficult to take by mouth most of the time for most people when they're hungover because they're feeling sick and they can vomit the easier way is to get intravenous fluids established and to rehydrate that way it can be done very rapidly uh, fairly inexpensive and it's a quick way to rebound where to go for alcohol detoxification or detox uh, it's worth doing some research here because there is a wide array of places to go the safest one would be in hospital, but not all hospitals offer a detox facility. Uh, the emergency department is not the appropriate place for alcohol detox. Uh, that being said though, for the elderly, it's a different situation, uh, or for pregnant women, uh, then in this situation, a hospital-associated detox would be the best, best place to go. But for most people, uh, they can detox uh, at a private clinic or publicly funded clinic. Um, this can be typically as an inpatient clinic for two or three days at a time. Some of them, however, are outpatient. There's more and more of these coming out now. And it's best to do your research to, to see what kind of health care providers they have there. Uh, for alcohol, it is necessary to get on a prescription for a benzodiazepine, a Valium is an example, um, and to have a physician present or at least a nurse present uh, at the detox facility to ensure there's no complications going on during the, the, the detox. Uh, at the other extreme though, there are some publicly funded uh, detox centers that uh, are, are available. Um, it's important to research them to see uh, how old they are, uh, what sort of med staff they have at these places, what is the cleanliness like, see if you can do a, a visit on its own because a lot of people fear these detoxes because of um, very unclean, uh, unsanitary conditions. So to summarize, uh, where to go for alcohol detox can range from the hospital, from, a sp um, from being admitted to the hospital, not the emergency department. Generally people who are admitted to the hospital are ones who are very sick or for the elderly or for pregnant uh, women. Uh, for most people, however, it's a detox facility out in the community, whether it's publicly funded or, or privately funded. And it's important to do your research to find out what kind of healthcare professionals are there, if any medical professionals, and to see about the uh, cleanliness environment there. Uh, we want to send people where it's clean and they feel safe. That's the most important thing to do.